Hi everyone, in this video I'd like to show you how you can use Python to read in data from a database and then upload that data to a Google Sheets worksheet. I'm going to be using a Jupyter Notebook I wrote here to complete these steps. Once you see how they're done, um, I think you'll find they're all pretty straightforward. Okay, so before we get into the Python code, we're going to do a couple prerequisites. Uh, first, we're going to create a new Google Cloud Platform project. So within um, the Google Cloud Console homepage, I'm going to create a new project. I'll do that by clicking Select a Project, and then go to New Project. And I'll just call this one uh, Python, uh, let's see, um, DB2 Sheets Demo, and that's Project ID. So I'll create this project here, and it usually takes a couple seconds. So now I'll select it from the drop-down list. So the next step is shown here is to add in, enable the Google Sheets API. So we'll do that just by searching for Sheets API. I'll find that here. And I'll click Enable. It's that simple. So once that's enabled, this page will uh, refresh with it. Great, so we have the API enabled. I'm now actually going to go to um, the service accounts page. I'm just going to search for service accounts. And on the service account page, I now need to create a service account. And that account will allow me to link my Python script to the uh, Google Sheets workbook that I'd like to update. So to create an account, I'm just going to do create service account. Um, f 3 ID. We'll just do um, SVC ACCT, short for service account. Um, note that the domain uh, includes my project ID there. And I'm just going to create and continue. Uh, continue here and then hit done. So I didn't need to do those other steps here. Okay, so now that I've created a service account, I'll need to download a key for it that I can then link to my Python project. So I'm going to hit actions, manage keys. I'm going to hit add key, create new key. And I'll save it as a JSON. And I'll hit create. And that key is going to download directly to my uh, downloads folder here. So I've now cut and pasted this service account key, JSON file, into the same folder that stores um, this Jupyter notebook that, I'll, that I'm about to run. Now this is definitely not the most secure approach, but I chose it just to make the key a little easier to view for people who are accessing the project. All right, I'll now copy and paste the uh, file name of this key into my source key path variable. And this will allow Gspread, a great Python library for interacting with Google Sheets documents, to gain the credentials it needs to update my Google Sheets workbook. Now that we have the service key incorporated into the Python script, we can go ahead and work on the Google Sheets component of this process. So first, I'll copy my service account's email here. In order to allow the service account to make updates to my Google Sheets workbook, I'll need to share that workbook with this email address and grant it editor access. So now I've copied that. I'm going to go into Google Drive here. And this is my general folder for uh, different Python for Nonprofits files. Uh, I plan to have definitely some additional content here as well in the future. So I'm going to create a new Google Sheets document. Uh, nothing really unique here to um, you know this project. Um, I'll just call it um, current enrollment spreadsheet. Workbook. All right, so now that I have this workbook here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and share um, this workbook with my service account. So this is the same email that was present in the service account. And I'm giving editor access. So I'll click share. All right, now the next step will be to copy and paste the ID of this workbook into my Python script. So that ID can be found right here. It's located between the d forward slash and forward slash edit parts of the URL. So I'll just copy this and I will go ahead and paste it into the uh, workbook ID variable here, just wb underscore ID. Next, um, I need to update the worksheet name and that name uh, currently by default is sheet one. You can keep it as sheet one, but um, in that case, you would just need to update this worksheet name to sheet one. Um, I like to name my worksheets just to make them a bit more readable, so I'll name this one Current Enrollment. So I've done that. Um, and now, if all goes well, um, everything should now be ready for the Python script to read in data from the database and then export it. So I'm just going to run these uh, lines one by one, importing data, 
uh, connecting to our database. So this database was created uh, in another script within this notebook, um, actually within this overall project called uh, database generator.ipynb. Um, I won't go into details now, but it will be there in GitHub if you want to take a look. This database contains only fictional data, so um, there's no real student information there. It's just created for um, educational purposes. So here are the different tables present. We have a current enrollment table, which we'll be accessing along with the test results and a graduation outcomes table. So I'll do, so um, this is just using pandas to read in that entire current enrollment table and store it as a data frame. At this point in the code, I could choose to make different modifications to the data, maybe select only certain columns or filter to include only certain schools. But just to keep this code simple um, for this first um, notebook, I'm gonna go ahead and export this entire table to the Google Sheets workbook. All right, now I'm gonna import the service key and here's where um, the fun begins. I'm gonna click this cell. So it's gonna read in that ID, take the worksheet name, and then now it's set that whole um, sheet with the contents of the table. I also wanna highlight the worksheet.clear um, line here. This allows me to totally clear out the contents of the worksheet and recreate it with a new copy of the database. Um, and that's very helpful, for instance, uh, in cases where your database might shrink in size if you didn't have clear here, you might end up with some contents from the new database, but some lingering rows from the from the old database table. So, uh, for instance, if I rerun this, you'll see all the contents disappear. That's clear, and then you'll see those contents reappear um, after a set with data frame is called. Another cool thing we can do with this script is export it to a Python file that will then allow us to update this Google Sheets document on a regular basis. So here's the Python file. It's simply an export of the, the notebook. So once I create that file, I then created a batch script because I'm in Windows right now that would simply tell my uh, computer to navigate to this folder where the file is located and then run this new Python file. Um, I then went into my task scheduler and I created a script that would tell it to run that batch file uh, every five minutes. But just to speed things up, I'll go ahead and run it manually here. So you'll see this uh, Python window open. And just as with the Jupyter Notebook script, uh, the script has now cleared out and replaced the data in the Google Sheet with the latest copy of the database data. Well, that's all for this video. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I'm really excited to work on this Python for Nonprofits project. Um, and I'm really just beginning it now, but there will be hopefully a lot of helpful material to come in the future. So uh, just keep an eye out for um, additional uh, components to this Python for Nonprofits project.